this is her here. This is her urn. This is all Griselda Garza has left of her daughter. I miss her so much. Her ashes in an urn on a living room mantle. Her name was Cecilia, and she died in this car just days before her 21st birthday. She was making a left turn into this party rental store on busy Highway 36. Surveillance video shows what happened. A 79-year-old man slammed into the back of Duran's car, pushing her into oncoming traffic. The one that's in the middle of the road is stuck in the car. They can't get her out. People ran out to help. Garza would meet her badly injured daughter at the hospital. She was just moaning like if she was in pain. Cecilia Duran would never recover. Because <laughs> they told me, do you want to unplug her now? And I didn't. I didn't want to give her, I wanted to give her more time. Cecilia died 32 days later, but Garza's pain was just beginning. The driver of the other car, the one Garza held responsible for Cecilia's death, got off with just a ticket for reckless driving. She wondered, where's the justice? This man tore a family apart. I don't even know what he looks like. I don't even know who he is. I could be driving next to him or one of my kids. Garza wanted answers, but says authorities were no help. She reached a DPS trooper and asked why the man who hit her daughter had walked away virtually free and clear. He was given a ticket that's done and over with. That because she died 30 days after the accident, they don't consider her death. Um, his fault. But this mother knew that wouldn't be the end of it. Griselda was right. She wasn't getting the answers that she deserved. So we reached out to DPS and asked them why something more hadn't been done. And they admitted that they had dropped the ball. We're human. We made a mistake. It should have been done right then and there. But once she brought it to our attention, we took it and, and went straight to the DA's office. When Cecilia Duran died from her injuries, the Fort Bend County DA should have been notified. But because the girl died more than a month after the accident, the case was filed differently. That doesn't mean it's over, and that doesn't mean that the person who's responsible gets a chance to get away. Now the case is being reopened and may go before a grand jury. We want to know the truth and as much of the truth as we can. Yes, we did make a mistake, and we're going to do what we have to do to fix it. I thank God, I really do, the day you walked into our lives because something's being done. Now this mother says she can move on with her life, knowing she's done everything she could for her daughter. Jacqueline Crea, KJOU 11 News.